As you may know, there's been a huge uptick of white lung syndrome around Ohio and Wisconsin. White lung syndrome simply refers to the white appearance of lungs on an x-ray as a result of damage. The recent uptick in the condition has been attributed to mycoplasma pneumoniae. Many have asked if it could be related to the Ohio train derailment. And while I can't answer that directly, I can tell you about the fallout of it that no one is talking about anymore. If you're not familiar, on February 3rd, some trains carrying materials to make plastics ended up becoming derailed in Ohio. As a result of this incident, over 100,000 gallons of vinyl chloride were spilled into the environment, among a few other toxic chemicals. In a mystifying turn of events, firefighters decided to burn the chemicals to, I don't know, get it out of the area. However, when vinyl chloride degrades, it turns into phosgene gas, or rather a gas that was used in World War I. This gas causes damage to the lungs and can potentially cause others to perish. Now, the half-life of phosgene gas is about 70 days, but officials let people return to their homes after only three weeks. When they got home, they found out that many of their pets had perished, as well as 43,000 aquatic animals in surrounding lakes. If you're unfamiliar with the geography of the United States, Ohio is surrounded by Lake Erie, and then over to the west, we have Lake Michigan. Phosgene gas causes severe lung damage. Here are some x-rays of someone who was exposed to it. While it is possible to reverse the damage if given prompt medical treatment, this is the fellow who was exposed to phosgene gas. This is right after the exposure. This is one day later, and this is five days later after treatment. You can see he had a complete reversal of the damage, but many in these areas have not been given adequate medical care. And while the EPA and local governments have promised to do something to keep the people safe, it's largely been ignored and brushed over by the news. Despite many having been exposed to toxic chemicals, potentially far outside of the little town in Ohio, with untold damages that we may not know for many years to come, 